שלום, גוד איבנינג. שלום. Tonight with God help we will tell the story of the seven beggar of Rabbi Nachman of Breslev. The way he wrote it in Hebrew, it's very old Hebrew. I mean, he was writing, he was a translate from Yiddish to Hebrew many years ago. So the Hebrew sometimes, it seems to be completely not the Hebrew we know, but he called it like this. מעשה מהשבעה בטלרס. Here he is the word in Yiddish. This is the way in the original book of Brussels which is written. Masse, the story of the seven beggars. Betlers. What you call 1,218. What is Ekiye 21 times 10? It means seven times three times 10. It's split to seven. Mm. It's, it's like each beggar is content free time, free time hen. Or free time, it's rotating like this. The seven letter of Yitzchak in Chenelion in the high symmetry. <coughs> what is the concept of uh, Maor Katan? The Maor Katan is the seven beggars. The small light. The small light. The moon. Mm. So this uh, this equal seven times Chen. Mm-hmm. We three times this name. Alright, so we have here seven letters that it's like how the, all the seven beggar are, including one. This is the 406. What is Maor Katan? The small light. Maor mm-hmm. Katan. Seven times ten. But we have all together three times this number. Ekie, the name of the, of the mother, of the Bina, I shall be. What equal 21, what is three times seven? <coughs> Time ten. Mm-hmm. Right, so it's basically, <coughs> we have ten here, and we have the number seven. The model of the seven beggar in the Torah, like we, we mentioned this in the past, is the seven son of the tribe of God. Mm-hmm. Right. He's writing, there is no God, and to the son of God, you call Kohen, 75. God born and died in the same day I born, in Yud Cheshvan. God, it's interesting. We have a lot of connection to the tribe of God. Of, of God. Mm-hmm. One of the four souls of Eliyahu Wanavi is from the tribe of God. Mm-hmm. What we call Eliyahu Giladi, Eliyahu Tishbi. We talk about this in the past. Believe <coughs> God. 
לא, it's not ולבני גד, it's ובני גד, סורי. ובני גד. צ'ק מי? יס. יש לנו פה שבעים וחמש? כן. כן. ובני גד. ספיון וחגי. ושוני. ספיון וחגי. שוני. First one is the second one are lying together with the Vava Hibu. After the, the third one and the fourth one are lying together in, with Vava Hibu. Mm-hmm. And after all the, all the other three are lying with Vava Hibu. Eri, Arodi, Ve'ar Eli. Right. עמד שיקול ערודי פלוס ערעלי אליהו פלוס אלישע Why we, why we connect this four name to the four beggar? Because R Eli, what is R, Ariel, the same letter, equal beggar, Kapsan. Hmm. All right? So, the most famous from all this, the story of the seven, the seven uh, beggar, the, the Musag, I said, concept that become famous is the seven beggars. Why? Because he didn't tell the story of the seven beggars. You mean the seventh beggar, it became the, the, the main... The main concept. One. Everybody waiting for the seven, seven beggars, yes. for the seven one. Because all the other one, it tells the story. Yeah. But the story of the seven beggar, we will hear it, we will hear it only from the seven beggars. Uh, it's my book, it's my story. Mm, okay. Right. All right. <coughs> mm. Yeah, the seventh beggar. One of the chapters in my book called The Seventh Beggar. Akaptana Shvi'i. All right, it's, we have a chapter like this. Yeah. <coughs> so, Ar-Eli or Ar-El equal, equal Kaptan. And the seven, it's very... have a lot of meaning when you talk about the, the, the seven child of God because God equals seven. Yeah. And, and he's the seventh son of Yaakov. Right. right. Yeah. And Yaakov equals seven times God. Mm-hmm. The name of God. Yeah. Name of God. Right? So it's God is like the name of God. <laughs> <coughs> God is Mazal in Hebrew. Fortune. Luck. Not only luck, of the kochavim and mazalot. Fortune, fortune, yeah. The other God, you call it mazal. Yeah, their source of sustenance. You know, the horoscope, the stars, they call it mazalot, so it's the concept of God too. Right. The signs. Okay, so... Zodiac. The number seven here is very... In his, in his ter- ter- territory was very Moses. Mm. But he's a seven two. Mm. That uh, born in the seventh day and, and passed away in the seventh day, right? Mm-hmm. Right. 
and God is a letter of Doug, what is a fish. Right, yeah. And Moses, is, we call him the fish. Right. Mm-hmm. Because we, we pull him from the water, it's why we call him Moshe. Yeah. Right. Right. Okay, so the concept of Chen, of, of the Mashiach, grew from the Nevo, Nunbo, what equal Chen, where the mountain where, where Moshe was buried, the Mashiach, it's like in the place where Moshe was buried, the Mashiach uh, grew yeah. from this place, right? Yeah. Hmm. This is 463. Eliyahu plus Elisha. Eri it's the Mm-hmm. Right? It is written about the, the donkey of Mashiach that uh, <coughs> how it is written Tzadik Venoshau Ine Malkech Yavolach Tzadik Venoshau Ani 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 v'rochev al chamor v'al air ben atonot is a poor that riding on a donkey, but not only. Besides this air, what is a young donkey, that is a son of a female donkey. Air ben is called Menachem Mendel. So air is the letter of Eri. Gili me'od bat Zion, ha'iri bat Yerushalayim, hine manchech yalot tzadik ve'noshau. Ani v'rochev al chamor v'al air ben atonot. Okay, so Eret Ve'ir Ben Atonot, Ayr. Eri is the same letter. And Ayr Ben equal Menachem Mendel. Mm. Right, so this refers to the Rabbi. So this is very, very clear that it's, mm-hmm. it's the Rabbi. What is Yoshiyahu? Equal 432 Menachem Mendel, mm-hmm. Yoshiyahu. Right. So this is Yehu Yakin, this is Yehu uh, Yakin. Mm-hmm. <coughs> How we know that Yehu Yakin have to come before, we have to light the seven candle before the sixth one, when we talk about Yehu Yakin and Yehu Yakin. Yehu Yakin, he was a king after Yehu Yakin. So how we, how we have this concept that Yoyakim came after Yoyakim? Yoyakim has a letter of Kohen, equal 111, even Chen, Yoyakim, right? Mm-hmm. But how we know that Yoyakim came not only before him, he came after him too? He have two brothers, Yoyakim. He have Yo, Yeho Achaz and he have Tzitkiyahu. I mean, it's the same, the, the same generation of Yoyakim. Mm-hmm. Now, Yoachaz was a king three months, like Yoyakim. That was a king three months. <coughs> so, I am not only the generation that coming after Yoyakim, I am too the same generation like my rabbi, because we are brothers. Mm-hmm. We are both disciples of the rabbi. In one way, he is above me, he is before me, but in another way, we are, we are, we are the same generation. Mm-hmm. I, I, can, I come back to, to the relation, take, take to, to the rabbi, to the face of the rabbi Melubavitch, mm-hmm. his beard, right? I saw his, his, his beautiful face, his beard, and I his became religion. Yeah. Okay, so he's my father too. Like Tamar, that equal Shemesh, that equal son, the Rabbi is the son, mm-hmm. she's the mother of Peretz and Zerach. Zerach is Yitzchak. Zerach, it's Rach, Rach equal Yitzchak. And Peretz, it's like Esav, right? And Zerach born before Peretz with his hand. Yeah. 
and after reborn, after parents. So you see right. that there, there are came before and after. Right. All right, so, mm-hmm. so we see that I am uh, before you are came to, as you are, you are has. He was king before Yoyakim. Mm-hmm. And he was another king, Tzidkiyahu, that is a brother of Yakim. So it's like Yoyakim, the same generation, that was king 11 years, like Yoyakim that was king 11 years. So mm-hmm. they are one, Yoyakim and Tzidkiyahu. Mm-hmm. Like Yoachaz and Yoyakim are one. Mm-hmm. Okay, so... This way you can see that uh, Yoyakim came after Yoyakim as well. Mm-hmm. <coughs> oh, this, uh, this was a, a little bit of introduction about, about the beggars. <coughs> Another thing we have to understand The difference between the the seven the seven concept of Mashiach and the seven head of the beast. It's not exactly the same thing. When we talk about the, the seven head of the beast, <coughs> we talk only about the word of Atsilut. And it's, it's referred first to the five that fell down. Hamishan flew, like it is written in the book of Revelation. The five fell down. It means we're talking about five kings that was and are not anymore with us. Hamishan mm-hmm. flew equal Chen in the filling letter, 524. Hamishan mm-hmm. flew has the acronym of Chen. Hamisha Chet, Naflu, Nun. So it is written, the five fell down. The five fell down refer to, to the Neranchai, Nefesh, Ruach, Neshama, Chaya, Yechida, of the Olam Atzilut, of the Chaya. Uh-huh. Okay? Uh-huh. But when we talk about Mashiach, <coughs> in the Chaya we have, usually we talk about three concepts. Mm-hmm. We talk about Yishai. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Right? We say we have... <coughs> <coughs> we have Yoshiyahu or we have Yeshai Yoshiyahu is Yeshai the same letter we have Yeshai we have Shlomo and we have again Yeshai mm-hmm. above this we have the Yechida that refer to Jesus, what we're talking about, the real Yechida, it means we're talking about Adam Kadmon. It's the ultimate Yechida. It's not just the, the crown of Olam Hatzilut. It's the crown refer to all the four worlds. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. So, above this we have uh, Jesus, Yeshu, and above this we have Atik Yomin, it means Father. God, right? Atik Yomin. We, we don't call it Atik Yomin here. Uh, Atik Yomin is just when we talk about <coughs> the crown of one world. It's something ad- above Adam Kadmon. It's like the cow and what is before. Okay, God. You are out here, God. 26. Yeah. All right? Name of God. And below this, This is like a, we call this a rabbi. <coughs> now we have the Neran, that mm-hmm. refer to the rabbi. Why is the, the rabbi, what is David? Mm-hmm. This is like Oved, the father of, the father of Yeshai, Oved. Right. This is like Boaz, right. God, right? The father of Oved. Mm-hmm. Oved gives birth to Yisha, Yisha gives birth to David, and David gives birth to Shlomo. 
David here he refer to free world. What he, what I have to parallel to the Naran. What is uh, uh, the world of uh, Asiya, Bria? Asiya, Yisira, Bria. Bria, Yisira, Asiya, Bia. What yeah. we call Bia. Yeah. Bia. Creation, formation, and action. Yeah. Bria, Yisira, Asiya. This is a woman. She's, she's between the sun and between the moon. Mm-hmm. And this is a body. There's a physical body. Mm. Okay? So this is seven head. Mm-hmm. Now, how this three become five? Achamisana flu zeneran chai of olam aitzira. The way, the way you, look it, you, you look it here, this is like uh, the world of uh, Atsilut. This is the inner of the world of Atsilut. And this is a little bit above. This is like the Dikna, the, the beard of Arich and Pil. Now, if, we, if we, we talk about the five kings that fell down, that are here, so this become five. It means... Really between Yishai and Shlomo with David. Must, must have David between Yishai and Shlomo and another David. Uh-huh. Now you can parallel to the four uh, righteous men, the five righteous men that are not anymore with us, what is Abal Shem Tov, Admor Azaken, Rabbi Nachman Mibreslev. So Rabbi Nachman Mibreslev will be to be in the place of Shlomo. After you have Araf Kuk, and after you have the Rabbi Melubavit. Mm-hmm. Hashem Tov, the Alter Rebbe, the, <coughs> the um, uh, Rebbe Nachman of Breslov, the Babavit Rebbe, and Rav Kuk. No, the Rav Kuk oh, before. Rav Kuk, and then, Rav Kuk right. is, is a Ruach. Mm. Ruach, it's like. Uh-huh. It's like mentality yeah. of klal, klal auma, yeah. klal. It's the mean collective. Collective. Uh, he talk all the time yeah. about the collective of the spirit of yeah. collective spirit of Israel. He talk yeah. all the time about mm-hmm. the concept. Yeah, <coughs> so I have to do with the ruach. Right. And this this parallel to to the uh, f- five king that from Ahaz to Yoshiyahu. Mm-hmm. If this is Yoshiyahu, his father is Amon. And the father of Amon is Menashe. Menashe is a Neshama. It's the same letter. The Neshama of the Neranchai of Olam Atzilut. Right? In the place of Shlomo, we have Menashe. What is Neshama? What is Rabbi Nachman Mibosheth? Uh-huh. Okay? So, Rabbi Nachman Mibosheth refers to the Pnei Yuta, but to the more deep concept. Mm-hmm. Right. If you, if you parallel this way. After, this is relatively like Jesus. Relative, relative, it's the crown. Right? The Yechida. The Yechida, it's like the crown, a Rich and Pin. So but, this Yesha, it's like Yeshu. But in, in the world of Asilut, not above. So here it's the Baal Shem So this... this Oh, when we yeah, this is about Shanto, but this will refer to Hiskiyao and this will refer to Achaz. Mm-hmm. Admora Zaken will refer Achaz. to Achaz. When mm-hmm. we talk about the first beggar, the ones that don't see, mm-hmm. it may have to do with wisdom, not with the crown. Mm-hmm. The ones that don't hear, it's like the crown more, it's like the mother or the crown. 
You understand? Because the Chaya, the Chaya, in one way, it's below the Echida. It's father. But it's connected to the Atik Yomin. So it can come before. I could, could because Pemiyotava, Pemiyotati. Exactly. The inside why, of, of, of the father is the inside of... It's why sometimes you receive the order of the Neran Chai, Nefesh, Ruach, Neshama, Yechida Chaya. It is written sometimes this order this way. Hmm. It's why when we parallel the five kings <coughs> to Abal Shem Tov, Admor Azaken, etc. Right. Admor Azaken is wisdom. Is the wisdom of yeah. all the Torah of Hasidut. Yeah. He's, he's <laughs> refer all time with yeah. wisdom. Yeah. He, uh, he has uh, uh, ten, uh, ten letters in his name. Uh, man, many things that refer his, his book, the Tanya, his book. Yeah, no. We call it the, the Torah Shebikhtav, which means the wisdom of all the Hasidut. Yeah. The writing Torah. The, the written Torah. The written Torah, it means like the, the, the wisdom concept of all Hasidut Chabad. Yeah. It's the, it's the point. Yeah. It's, it's the beginning. Right. All right, so Admor Azaken refer to wisdom. It means to father, it means to sight. Mm. Sight always refer to physical. Mm. It's why Pnei Utaba have to do with the body as well. What we see right. with the eye, we see the physical. Right. Hearing refer to something that we don't see, we hear, we hear. It's yeah. What we hear, it's more something yeah. spiritual. The original image of, of the wisdom is more physical because it's more visual. Yeah, it's visual. And then the, the audio, the, the listening... It has to deeper. do with the soul, so he can right. go more high, he go to the crown. Right. Go, it's referred to the crown. Mm. To, you understand this? Ma, it's why mother came from the word emuna. Emuna is faith. It's always have to do more with crown. Mm. <coughs> All right. So I hope this this clears the difference between <coughs> when we parallel this way and when we parallel yes uh, mm -hmm. to the word of Atzilut. If you have question, if you do, if it's not clear, let me know that. So we we'll find it better. <coughs> so it's mean I'm very connected. Shlomo is very connected to Rabbi Nachman of Breslev. Which Shlomo? Me. Oh. I have my second name is Shlomo. Uh -huh. And Shlomo is reading a real time in the Bible. Right? We mentioned this in the past. <coughs> it is reading two hundred forty two times in the word Shlomo mm -hmm. in the Bible. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> so I mean the proof is that do rectification of the first bone of the snake of the body. Mm -hmm. It's why we're talking about Chen. Chen is the snake. Right. Chen is a lie. We talk, right. Everything we talk has to do with the paradox, with the lie, with right. the Chen, with the concept of Chen, chen with the shaker. symmetry. Shaker chen. Yeah, yeah, it's not like on a hash. Right. Okay. It's a Maneshama, essence of the soul is the body. It means the essence of the soul, it, we, it is expressed in, in Hasidut that Ayesh shel abore mushrash by Ayesh anivra. Ayesh amiti, the real being of God, is mushrash, how you say mushrash? It's rooted in the, in the yesh of the, of the creation. Inside the, the, the being of creation. Is, is like yeah. uh, rooted yeah. inside it, all right? So they are yeah. connected together. Right. Okay? The, the beginning is connected to the end. Right. right. To the... Right. <coughs> so... Um. <coughs> we see here a special connection between 
the third head of the beast, what is uh, Menashe, what is Neshama, what is Rabbi Nachman Breslev, that refer to this concept of the soul, especially is very female, very mm-hmm. mother, in right. all his, his way of teaching. He have a lot of hand, a lot of grace. Yeah. He say he's one of the first ones that says that Mashiach is Chen in different mm. place. His first Torah in his book, Likute Mora, right. is about the word Chen, about mm-hmm. the concept. He start with this, with Chen. <laughs> right, it's also and the first thing And he have all kind of different, di- he have all kind of different story. <laughs> you know, he have a bo- a, a, another book, Megillat Starim. How you translate Megillat Starim? Uh, a, a book that was hiding, that was secret. The that, secret scrolls. <laughs> that no, no, that only, only lately somebody received permission of, right. of Hasid Breslev to, to right. write about this book, to publish what he writes. Yeah, it's, it's really And his model of Mashiach is Shlomo in this book. He talk about a, a, a child a 12 years old. Maybe he, he was expecting that his son will be uh, these kids, right? But uh, he had a son that passed away. Yeah. So he talked about, he talk, in this book, he talked about his vision about Mashiach. He talked about a kid, 12, 12 years old. It means he uh-huh. talked about Shlomo that become king. In the, in the age of 12. Oh, really? Wow. Shlomo became king in the age of 12. Wow. He was 40 years king and he died. He passed away in the year of 52, what, what is Eliyahu. Right. <coughs> I guess he's literally he supposed to be Ben David. <laughs> Shlomo Ben David. Uh, he's, 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 he's the first Ben David. Yeah, and Shlomo equal five times Kohen. Yeah. Right? Five times? Mm-hmm. Yes, five times Cohen, 375. Yeah. Cohen is 75. So, yeah. and he's written the son of David was priest. All right, so when you talk about Mashal ben David, you, you, you can say that you talk about the priest. And you can, in one way, but it's, it's just literally, it's not a literally uh, Mashal ben David, is a priest. So he's not really the son of David. But if David is my rabbi, so in one way, I am mm-hmm. uh, the son of David. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right, but... Uh, Mashar ben David, like we say, it's, it's, uh, it's a rabbi, but the rabbi, it's like the mimshak, how you say, the, the outside of all the olam atzilut. It's like, mm-hmm. it's like the malchut, the kingdom of olam atzilut, it's the nefesh of olam atzilut, but... When we talk about Mashiach ben David, here we talk about five souls, that each one of them is descendant of David, mm-hmm. the king. He's, he's a Rabbi Melubavitch, Rabbi Cook, Rabbi Nachman Breslev, Admor Azaken, and Abal Shem Tov. All of them was from the family of David. So they're all part, parts of the Mashiach? Of what we call Mashiach ben David. Uh-huh. The real Mashiach ben David. Interesting. So he, so when Mashiach ben David comes, he will be <coughs> no. the, uh, the how we see, how we see the combination that, of all these rabbis. Yeah, yeah, it's and amazing. and wow. who is who is the son of Shlomo? Plus. <laughs> who is the son of Shlomo? Rechavam, <sighs> that equal Yishai. Mm-hmm. So. When we talk, when we talk about David, that will be will become king again after Shlomo, because it's the sixth candidate that will light it, uh, uh, the eighth one, he become he will become Mashiach with the spirit of the Rabbi Melubavitch of Yoshiyahu, that equal of Rechavam uh, that equal Yishai, right? So in one way, he's the son of Shlomo. He's the son of the donkey. It's why the father of the rabbi, Levi Yitzchak, he called Hamor. Mm-hmm. Okay? Now, when we talk about this story, mm-hmm. 
All right, so we get to the story, and we will see what uh, what we have here. First of all, we have like two sto- We have <coughs> a story like he, like you don't under- understand what the first story has to do with the continuation. Mm. <coughs> he talk before I I will write it word by word, but mm. but a. Uh, 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 What we have here, basically, it's a king that gives the kingdom to his son when, he, when he's still alive, mm-hmm. when it's happened. Which king gives the kingdom to his, to, to his son when he was still alive? David. To David, David uh, gives the kingdom to Shlomo when he was still alive. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. <coughs> so after this, David died, but he, he didn't really die. Mm-hmm. In the from the secret point, he will come back as the rabbi. It mean as as Yishai, because he will be reincarnated with uh-huh. with the soul of Yishai, and all his life, it's like he finished really to live in this world, but he still. A, li- a living person, uh, thanks to the Chaya and the Echida that he will receive. Mm-hmm. So now we can call him, uh, now he's, he's, uh, it's like, uh, you see maybe the body of, of, uh, of the rabbi, but really, who is there, is a rabbi. Uh-huh. The rabbi is not, is not much anymore there inside. Mm-hmm. It's a rabbi inside. Wow. It's why it's why we call him Rechavam that came after after uh, Solomon after Shlomo. Mm-hmm. Okay. <coughs> All right. I will I will read from the book in Hebrew and you will help me to, to translate. Yeah. I will tell you how there was happy. אספר לכם איך היו שמחים. מעשה. פעם אחת היה מלך, once upon a time was a king, והיה לו בן יחיד, and he have only one son. It means this son refer to Yitzhak somehow. Right? Even we refer Shlomo like Avraham, but in his root is Yitzhak too. Or he's two time Yitzhak. And he have a one... only son, ורצה המלך למסור המלוכה לבנו בחייו, and the king want to, to give the kingdom to his son in his life. ועשה משתה גדול שקוראים בעל, and he did a big, uh, how you say, משתה? Uh, a, a great party. <coughs> That you call it בעל. Like a ball, a ball, like... בעל. 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 In, in English... <coughs> Sometimes a, a party is called a ball, yeah. like a, a ball. Oh. And of course, every time when the king do a, a ball, it's a big happiness. Especially now that he give a, to his son, the kingdom to his son in his life. Of course, it was a big happiness. כל השרי מלוכה וכל הדוכסים והשרים, and was there all the... All the royal officers and... Officer, דוכס, צ'יף. And they was very happy about the משתה, about the... the celebration. וגם המדינה היו נהנים מאוד מזה שמוסר המלוכה לבנו בחייו, and the country... In the country, everybody was happy too that he gives the kingdom to his son in his life because it's a big respect to the king. Kavod gadol ha-melech. Vaya sham simcha gadol ha-meod and it was there a very big happiness and was there all kind of happiness. Kapel yesh? Komedi yesh? Komedi? I don't know what is kapel yesh. Like uh, um, a cappellas. 
Okay, yeah. S song groups. Yeah. Comedy, uh, comedians. Yeah. Drama, <coughs> comedy. And, and, uh, all kind of happiness like this. Yeah. Everything was there in this, uh, in this bath. celebration. And when they become very happy, Ahmad Amelech stands the king and said to his son, <coughs> since I was a star, I'm a stargazer, I see that you are going to fall down from the kingdom. You will not mm -hmm. stay king for, for a long time. Mm -hmm. Right? Then it's, it's why you watch yourself. It's very important that you will be not sad when you, you, you will lose your kingdom. Yeah. Only you will be in happiness. And when you will be in happiness, I will be in happiness too. Now, if... If you will be in sadness, I will I will be in happiness too. Uh, for the reason happy. that you are not king, mm. because you don't deserve to be king if you are not in happiness when mm. when you lose the kingdom. It means you don't deserve to to be king. So mm. I will be happy that you are not king if you mm. if you will be sad. Right. But <coughs> if you will be in, in happiness, I will be even better in happiness. Mm. And the, the son of the king received the kingdom beyad uh, Rama. With a mighty hand. And he makes him all kind of uh, uh, you say he appointed all all kinds of ro royal ministers and dukes and this son of, of king he was very smart yeah all right so this is very, Shlomo. very very clever he liked wisdom very very much and was with him working with him be very big uh, uh, wise people Everyone that was came to him with any any, 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 some, any wisdom was very esteemed by him. Yeah. And he was giving them respect and, and money and richness for the wisdom. Yeah. To each one uh, according to his will. Who want Mishael Rotze Mamon, Ayanotel Lo Mamon? Who want to receive money? He give him money. Mamon is a lot of money. Mamon equal million in Gimetia. And Mishael Rotze Kavod, Ayanotel Lo Kavod, and who want respect? He was giving respect. Everything for the wisdom. And Mechamat Shea Hashuv et Slo Hochma Kulkach, and and because it was so important for him the wisdom, right. everybody take himself to the wisdom. Mm -hmm. And all everybody in the state was was, was occupied with occupied with wisdom. Kizaya <coughs> Mamon and one want money. Mm -hmm. So, so he will receive money with this, and other one will want respect, chashivut, vechavod. And because everybody was dealing only with wisdom, they forget in this, uh, in this uh, country uh, the strategies of war. Of war. Because everybody was occupied with wisdom. Right. Philosophy. 
עד שהיו כל בני המדינה חכמים גדולים. עד שהקטן שבאותה מדינה היה, היה במדינה אחרת חכם גדול מכולם. So, even the smallest one in this country, in another country, will be the more worst of anybody else. ומחמת החוכמות נתפקרו החכמים של אותה מדינה. And because all this wisdom נתפקרו, זה בעיקר... אפיקורוס, זה בעיקר אפיקורוס. זה פל טו ארס, הוא משכו גם את הבן מלך, and the son of the king, הנ"ל, to their opinion, to the way of thinking, and התפקר גם כן. ושאר בני המדינה לא נתפקרו, all the other people of the state was not, didn't was How you say? התפקרו. They weren't, they didn't become uh, heretics, disbelievers. מהחמת שהיה עמקות ודקות גדול מאוד באותה חוכמה של החכמים הנ"ל, because this, this kind of wisdom that uh, was of this, uh, the big חכמים, the sages, it was very thin, so not everybody, right. only who understand the, the, the wisdom that he was very thin and very deep, more, uh, deep and become uh, hypocrite, uh, how you say? Uh, heretics. But the Chachamim and the son of the king nitpakru kanal, the become. Vaben Melech, Mahamad Shayabu Tov, but the son of the king, because he was, he was good, he born with with goodness, he has a good midot of what we shot, he has a good, uh, good uh, character, straight, straight uh, character, he received a good education. I am his car for him, a hand of all of them. He was, he was uh, sometimes asking himself where he, where he is in this world, how he got there. And what he's doing. והיה גונח ומתענח על זה, so he was, he was suffering because of this. How this happened to me that I am become heretics? אז שנפל עם ברוכות כאלה ונטעה כל כך, for him failing to, how you say, מבוכות. פרפלקשיונס. ונטעה, היא נתגעת so much loss, והיה מתענח מאוד. אבל תכף כשהיה מתחיל להשתמש עם השכל, but in the moment he was start to use his his brain, חזק ונתחזק אצלו החוכמות של אפיקורס ותנאי. So in the moment he He used again his, his, his brain, mm-hmm. come back <coughs> and become strong again, this wisdom with all the heritage. Heresy. Heresy. And it happened a few times yeah. that he was uh, remembered and he Con- was uh, said and then he was again used his mind. And, and he come back to the epicorsut. Yeah. All right, so this is one story. Mm. Have nothing more to do with the story that came after. Right. This is the introduction so why he, to the story. So why he put it? Right. He put the story to tell you that the seven beggar mm. will come before the six beggar. Mm. This is why he told you the story. Because he told the story in the order, the first beggar, the second beggar, the third beggar, the right. fourth beggar, five, the sixth, and the seventh. So, so how do you see it here? He gives, David gives the kingdom to Shlomo. Yeah, but here in the story, I mean... How he's still alive. Oh. It's been, and, and his son will fall down, so he, become, he will become again king, the father. Because the son will not, will not become king forever. Now we understand why he put this uh, story, this, because this has nothing to do, 
<coughs> with, with, right. with what's uh, coming later. <coughs> mm -hmm. Okay? Now you see why we put this story here. If no, we don't understand what this has to do with this. Interesting. With the right. Okay, now we start with the continuation of the story, but it's like another story. Vayi ayom, and it was a day. The day came. The day came, and vayi abricha beze medina uvachu kulam. It was uh, run out from uh, some some state. Everybody ran away from there. Uvedere brichata avu der chazayar in when the way of running out, the path through a forest, mm -hmm. and, and was lost there, Zachar and Nekeva. And lost there, a male and a female, mm -hmm. Echad Avad Zachar, Echad Avad Nekeva. Vadana Yu Banim Tanim, I mean, lost there one a male, one female, and there were still uh, small children in the age of four or five. And they had nothing to eat. And they have nothing to eat. And they, they cry. <coughs> they yell and cry. Because they didn't have what to eat. And and betokkach. And when it's a pen, bites lamb, better had. <coughs> and when it's a pen, arrive to them. Uh, one betler, it's when one beggar mm. with his sakim. And sex. On his back, so no say by him lechem that he carry bread on on his sack. Vitchilu elu abanim lit karevela v'leot kuchim acharav, and this two two children they become close to him, go after him, and he gives and he gives them bread to eat, and they eat. V'shalotam, and he asks them, "Mechan batem lekan." And ask him, from where you came to here? How you got to here? And she will and answer him. And I know you We don't know. Because it was very small, like we said. And he, he mm -hmm. start to leave them. Please uh, take, take us with us. And he said to them, "At the any road that you go with me, I don't want that you go with me." But how can I stay close when I'm with her? And then the 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 put attention that he's blind, and it was for them a a a pele. I used to say a wonder how how he is blind and he and he know how to to walk like this. But if, so he explained here in parenthesis that <coughs> even though it was very small, they was still was smart. Yeah. So they understood that if he's blind, he should not be able to walk like this. Yeah. Like he see, like he, he see. And he blessed them that they will be like him, that they will be old, old like him, and he, he left them more bread, and he left. So, so they understood the two kids, that God, Hashem uh, Barach, the blessing God, uh, is watching over, them. watching over them, and take care of them, and uh, his mainland Butler River, mm. He sent them this blind this beggar. Blind bear to, to give them food. After this, the bread was finished. And again, they, they start to, to yell and uh, mm. for, for food. After become night and they sleep. In the morning, they didn't have what to eat. And there was a yelling and crying, and came now a battler that was cheresh, they don't hear. 
death. Hmm. <coughs> Father always have to do with sight and mother have to do with hearing. Hmm. והתחיל לדבר אליו, והתחילו לדבר אליו, זה סטארט טו טוק טו אים, ואני אשאול זה מוויפין, וויפיז אנד, זאת אי כן אוציא. ואני גב זה בראט טו איט, ואני, ואני ווק פרום זה, ורצו גם כן שייקח עם אמו ולא רצה. And they ask him too that he will take them with him, he didn't want. And he bless them that they will be like him. And he left them more bread and he, and he left. And then again, the bread is finished and they come back and yell. And then came a butler, a beggar that was Kvat Pe. It's mean, it's difficult for him to talk. Yeah. מגמגם. והתחילו לדבר. And they start to talk with him. And he was mumbling his speech. והיה מגמגם בלשונו ולעד הוא מה הוא אומר. And he was... And they didn't know what he said. והוא היה יודע מה הם מדברים. And he know what they talk, but זה... They didn't know what he said. כי היה מגמגם בלשונו, because he was בגאייה, how you say בגאייה? בגאייה? בגאי, in French. Oh, stuttering, stuttering. Stuttering, like we said. ונתן להם גם כן לאכול, and he gives them to eat, and he wears them like that. And he blessed them that they will be like him. Right. And he left. And then came a battle that was his, uh, his neck, Aku, mm. I used to say, a, cro- a crooked neck. And was like this too. And then came a battle that was a hunchback. A hunchback. A hunchback. She called him Hawker. And then came a battle with no hand. Mm. And then came a battler with no legs. Each one of them gives them bread and give, bless them that they will be like him. Mm-hmm. What kind of blessing him? I don't see, I bless you that you will be like, that you will not see like me. What kind of blessing this? Etc. All right? So they are all, it seems that they are all uh, a problem with this world. Mm-hmm. And they bless the two kids that they will be like him. Yeah, like them. It's, it means, mm-hmm. it's like what they have, it's something nobody has in the world. Yeah. <coughs> After this, again, finish the bread and they start to, to go to a issue, to a place where... A settlement. A settlement place. So they arrived to a way, they went with that way until they came to a village. And they went with that way until they came to a village. They go in a house, and there was, people have mercy for them, and they gave them bread. They continued to go to a house. And again, they searched another house, so they become... Beggars go from by yeah. place to place, uh, uh, house, house, and they uh, ask for bread. Yeah. So they saw that it's, it's, it's good for them. For them. It's good. And good they bread. decide that they will be always together. And they make them mm-hmm. uh, sakim, uh, mm-hmm. you know. So Large sacks. Uh, went around to the houses and went to all happy occasions. Yeah, maybe, maybe you continue, you just said it in English. Mm-hmm. Happy occasions to uh, c- circumcisions and weddings. And they continued further along, going into cities, to the houses, and went to market fairs and would sit among the beggars in the same way they sit there on the prisbis, the banks of earth, with a teller, a plate for collecting 
alms until his children came became famous already among all the beggars yeah. for all of them recognized <coughs> them and knew of them that they were the children who had been lost in the forest as mentioned yeah mm. one day one time there was a big fair in a big city and all the beggars went there as well as the children too It came to the mind of the beggars that they should match the children, that they should marry each other. And as soon as they started discussing it, it pleased all of them that they were matched. And, and they were matched. But how to make them a wedding? So they came to the decision, in as much as on such and such a day <coughs> the king would have his birthday feast, Um, all the beggars would go there and from what they would request for themselves there, meat and bread, they would make a wedding. Hmm. And, and so, uh, so it was. All the beggars went to the uh, mightiness, the birthday feast, and requested out for themselves bread and meat and also collected what was left over from the banquet, meat and bread, which is called kolich, Big loaves, special for celebrations. Um, and they went ahead and dug out a big trench which could contain a hundred people and covered it with sticks, earth and trash. And they all went inside and married the children there. Okay. Okay. <coughs> It talk about boar. They will do the wedding inside a, a boar, a hall. They will make a hall that can contain 100, 100 persons. Boar equals Yitzhak. Yitzhak is the mm-hmm. personality in Mashiach that old the two Mashiach. Mm-hmm. Really, he holds the both of them. Mashar ben Yosef and Mashar ben David, the male and the female. The letter of Yitzchak is Ketz Chai. Ketz Chai. The, the living end. Mm-hmm. Ketz equal the two of Yudah. This is a daughter. And Chai, the letter Chai is a tzaddik, is Yosef a tzaddik. Mm-hmm. Is the tree of Yosef. Chai refer to and refer to basically to the two of yourself right? right. it's means the, the, the boy hates yourself also cats is ten times Chava yeah the female yeah, yeah it's a triangle of Chava too mm-hmm. 190 mm-hmm. it's a uh, is in in a, in a calculation of uh, Mispar Kadmon. You remember when you, on, on a base of 22, when you do mm-hmm. Gimetia of Chen, mm-hmm. you receive Ketz, when, what is the tree of Yudah. When you, you do Noach on the, same, on, on the base of 22, you receive the tree of Yosef, what is Noach. Mm-hmm. Noach in Chen Kadmon equal Jesus, it's Yosef. And Chen mm-hmm. in Chen Kadmon equal it's Yudah. Mm-hmm. You remember this, how, how it's worked? Et si on doit être les guillemets de l'outside letter de ma chère Ben Yosef et Et si on sait que Jésus est l'inner letter de ma chère Ben David et c'est tout le monde maintenant quel est le secret de l'hundre qu'est-ce que l'hundre a fait avec Yitzhak And it is a secret of Yitzhak, Yitzhak. Right, Chetzikov. Yeah. Yitzhak, hmm. Yitzhak is Chetzi. Half two. of, half, half of 100. 100. Right. What is 50? 50, it's like the mother. Yeah. But we say that Yitzhak saw 100 gets. Who are Mea Sharim in that year. Hmm. 
He sowed twice. Right. He, sold, he reaped. He reaped a hundred, a hundred measures, a no, hundred times of his of his yield. Of his yeah, yield. but you know, we we know the concept of non sharebina. Right. The Fifty gates of understanding. But here we see that we have two. It means he goes right. to the two side. Mm. The concept. Uh -huh. It's like you will do instead of yud k, you do k yud k. Mm -hmm. The symmetry. It's like the symmetry of Yishai. Right. So it's 58 and both sides. The symmetry of Yishai. <coughs> right? Mm. You have like Yishai, two Yishai. It's like you have two, two, two mother, two, two time Miriam, two Miriam. Right. In the middle you have the father. Mm. Right? You have, you have five Alamot and five Alamot. Right. Five that was in time and five five that was not in time. Mm. You yeah. Remember the story yeah. of Jesus. Mm -hmm. It's like it's like we have two, two Masher Ben David, two son, two, two Rabbi, two time Rabbi equal Masher Ben David, two time Masher Ben David equal Yaakov in the appearance of Yitzchak, Yaakov with the Vav. Mm. Right. Wow. Two time Yishai equal Shemesh. Son, Shemesh, mm. is 640, Yishai right. is 320. Right. All right, so you, 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 you always doubling, you go to the symmetry, to the, to the two sides, the two sides of Yishai. Right. So, right. That's, so, so this it's is why, why we have... That's why you, you have two times 50 gates of understanding. You have two times hey. You have two mother, two Yitzhak. You go to the two sides. This is where we have a, a pit that's that can hold a hundred people. It means if you have you have Yitzhak and you have two other Yitzhak together you call Yitzhak Mashiachen. Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. You have free Yitzhak. Right. Yitzhak Mashiachen equal free Tam Yitzhak. Mm -hmm. Right? So. Yeah. Rabbi Nachman Mibrasle. <coughs> if you say hundred people and you say they will sell, they will marry marry him in a in a hall <coughs> you mean you mean something. Right. Gadol Gadol equal a seven older number. Hmm. So they they put them under the chupa. Yeah, they, they set them up. Uh, they set a chupa for them, and they were very, very happy there. And the groom and bride also were extremely happy. And now the groom and bride started, <coughs> started recalling the kind the kindnesses that Hashem, Hashem uh, blessed Hashem, had done for them when they were in the forest and started crying and greatly yearning how can the first beggar the blind one be brought here who, who brought us bread in the forest and just as they were longing very much for the blind beggar he immediately calls out and says i am here i have come to you for the wedding and i'm presenting you with a drasha geschenk Commonly meaning gifts given to the groom in reward for his pre uh, um lecture. Um, that but, will be old like me and uh, blessed like me. Yeah, but possibly me. Oh, that you should be as um, old as I. For previously I had blessed you with this, that you should be as old as I. Now I present it to you as a completely free gift. That you should live as long as I. You think that I am blind. I am not blind at all. Except all the time of the whole world does not come across me as much as an eye blink. Because I am very old and I am yet entirely young. <coughs> and have not yet begun living at all. But I am still very old. And it is not I alone that say this. On the contrary, I have an approval upon it from the great eagle. I will tell you a story. 
the great eagle. One time there were people traveling in many ships on the sea. A storm, a storm wind came and broke the ships and the people were saved. The people came to a tower. They went up on it and found there all kinds of food, drink, clothing, and whatever one needs. And all good was there and all the delights in the world. They spoke up and said that each one should tell an old story. What he remembers from his first memory, that is, what he remembers since his memory began. They were old and young there, and they honored the biggest, Zaken, the elder, <coughs> among them to tell first. He answered and said, What shall I tell you? I remember back when they cut the apple off the branch. No one at all knew what he was saying. However, there was... There were wise men there, and they said, Uwa, that is a totally old story. Then they honored the second elder, who was younger than the first, and he should tell. The second one replied, That there is an old story? I remember that story, but I remember back even when the candle was burning. Those who were there replied, That story there is older yet than the first. And it was a marvel to them that the second one is younger than the first, yet remembers an older story than the first. <coughs> then they honored the third elder that he should tell. The third one, who was younger yet, spoke up saying, I remember back even when the, the construction of the fruit was just beginning. When the fruit was just starting to become a fruit, they answered there, this is an even older story. Then the fourth one spoke up, who was even yet younger. I remember back even when they were bringing the, ne the seed so as to plant the fruit. The fifth answered, who was even yet younger. I recall even the sages who thought up and brought out the seed. The sixth, who was even younger, called out. I remember even the taste of the fruit before the taste entered into the fruit. The seventh called out, I recall even the smell of the fruit before the smell entered the fruit. The eighth answered and said, I remember even the appearance of the fruit before it went upon the fruit. And I at the time was just an infant. That is the blind beggar who is telling all this. <coughs> and I too was there and I announced, I remember all these stories. Plus, I remember absolutely nothing. <laughs> they replied, That is a story completely older than all of them. And it was a great marvel to them that the child remembers more than them all. In the midst of this came a great eagle and knocked on the tower and said to them, Seize being poor, return to your treasures and use your treasures. And he said to them that they should go out from the tower, age by age. Whoever is oldest should go out first. He took them all out from the tower, removing the babe first, for truthfully he is, after all, older than all of them. And likewise, whoever was younger, he brought out first. And the hoariest elder, he brought out at the very end. For the one who was younger was in fact older. And the most aged elder was younger than all of them. The great eagle replied to them, I will explain to you all the stories that everyone told. The one who told that he remembers back when they cut the apple off the branch means he remembers back even when they cropped his navel. That is, even what happened to him immediately as soon he was, as he was born, when they cut his navel cord. And the second who said that he remembers back even when the candle was burning, means he remembers back even when he was in utero, when a candle burns over one's head. Like it says in the Gemara that when a child is in the mother's womb, a candle burns over his head. <coughs> and he who said that he remembers back even when the fruit began to form, it is that he remembers back even when his body began to take form, when the fetus was beginning to take form. And 
and one remembers back when they were bringing the seed to plant the fruit. Means he remembers back even when the droplet was being drawn down during relations. And he who remembers the sages bringing out the seed means he remembers back even when the droplet was still in the brain. For the brains emit the droplet. And the one who remembers the taste, it is <coughs> the nephesh, the vital life force. And the smell, it is the ruach, the spirit. And the appearance, it is the neshama, the uppermost soul. The, the, the spiritual world of Asiya, Yetzirah, Asiya. Yeah. Yetzir, yeah, Asiya, Yetzirah, Briya. Yeah. And the babe said that he remembers absolutely nothing. Right, absolutely nothing. Because he's greater than all of them and remembers even what he was prior, even what he was prior to Nefesh was in the Thus he said he recalls absolute nothingness. In other words, he recalls not existing at all, even, even what was happening there, which is highest of all. And the great eagle said to them, Return to your ships, which are your bodies, which have been broken and will be rebuilt. Now return to them. And he blessed them. And to me, said the great eagle, meaning to me the blind beggar, who was a babe then, who was telling all this, said the great eagle, you come with me, for, you're, for, for you are like me, for you are very old and completely young, and haven't at all started to live and are yet not, nonetheless very old. And I am like that too, for I am very old and still entirely young, etc. It follows, I have a testimonial from the great eagle that I am very old and completely youthful. Etc. Now I present it to you as a completely free gift that you should be as old as I. There was a great celebration there with great jubilation and they were extremely happy. Uh, so uh, what, we talk, what we talk about? We talk about the first head. This is all the first day of the seven days of, of celebration. All right, so this is the first, the first head that referred to to the sight, to, to the wisdom, or to Atikyomin, but it's the same thing, the Chaya or Atikyomin. Atikyomin, it means the ancient day, mm -hmm. it means the oldest. But what is Atikyomin? Atikyomin, we say it's a snake. A snake, it's somebody that has to do with internal life, it means he renew himself all the time. More you are young, more you are connected to Atikyomin. It means more you are young, your, your body renew himself. Right. More you are baby, more you are connected to Atikyomin. It means more you are baby, more you are old. You understand this idea? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Also, Chaya means alive. Chai, Chaya. It's constantly renewing the life. Yeah, yeah. It's wisdom the life. And, and it's always has to do with life, with renewal. With renewing. Exactly. Rosh <coughs> Chodesh. And more, but when you talk about a Tikyomin, it means very old. Ani Rishon Bani Acharon is, is the Anima Amin corresponding. It means a Tikyomin, it's like the oldest, the ancient of the day. It means the, the oldest, the oldest yeah, yeah. existent. It's like the father of Jesus. It's like. You see what I mean? It yeah. means it mean God himself. So it's very old, but it's very young. It means because it has to do with concept of renewing himself all the time. Mm -hmm. So he's just born. But he remembers the, the, mm -hmm. the thing from the beginning. Right, the nothingness, the pre-existence. So we understand the <coughs> about <coughs> the idea of the first beggar uh, had this had to do with, uh, with the wisdom, with the sight, with uh, the concept of uh, atikyomin. Pnimiuta mm -hmm. It means the wisdom, the father, is connected to atikyomin.
We go to the second one. You have quark. Alright. Oh, we do this and then we do a break. Uh, we do a, we do a break. Yeah. Okay. 